Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over installing a 5 channel amplifier. The 5 channel amplifier is a great way to get more sound from your vehicle without breaking the bank that much or without over, overly complicating your install. The main component we're going to be showing of the 5 channel amplifier install is all the wiring. Today we're going to be doing an aftermarket stereo so we don't have to do a high low adapter or sound processor today of any sort. So we're going to install a power kit to power it up and our RCAs. That way the aftermarket head unit can communicate with the 5 channel. Before we start the job, let's do some wire prep. Alright, we're about to run the power wire. Now, always run through the firewall. If you've run through here already, well, that's wrong. Uh, go back and redo it, or pay someone to redo it for you. You want to go through here because it's always safer in case you ever go to an accident. I've seen wiring run through here, and if you ever got T-bone, you're just going to pinch that wire. It's just going to short out, and it looks horrible. So, I'm ready to pull the wire through. Go ahead and pull this to the vehicle. Okay, we're done under the hood. I uh, haven't hooked it up yet because we still have to hook up the actual amplifier, but it's all run nicely. Got wiring run down here, mount the fuse holder down here, attach the vehicle, run along with all the factory wiring, and it just goes right down through here through the grommet you see you saw me pull through. We're about to button up the deck, but let's show you what's going on behind the stereo so you know how it goes. So first we have our RCAs. Now keep in mind when you're doing these that you look at the direction and make sure that the arrow is pointing away so the signal has to go towards the amplifier. Another thing that we do to make sure that we plug the right RCA to the right spot is we mark them off so we know what, RCA, uh, what each RCA does. Over here we have speaker lines running into here. We're going to use these lines off the stock speakers to run the woofers. It is thick enough so it is sufficient to run. Uh, the rest of the lines for the tweeters and the rear doors we're going to have to run our own lines. You can see we have it all nice and tidy. We have our steering wheel controls and everything, Bluetooth mic, USB, it's all running here. Nice. One of the most important things to do when you want to get optimal sound quality when you're doing your amp install is when you're hitting the chassis, make sure you get rid of all that paint, make it bare metal. After we secured our ground, we've gone ahead and painted over the surface because between the wire and the bare metal, the paint can't get in between so you have a good connection. We want to make sure this never oxidizes, so we have a little bit of paint on there to make sure it lasts a long time. Okay, our install is all done, so let's recap what we've done. We got the Hertz Millies installed with the JL Audio XD amplifier. And let's show you what we got going on. I left the cap off on the crossover of the Millie so I can explain what the wires are and where they're going. So, one of the most important things also when you're doing a 5 channel or 4 channel, these RCAs are run on the left side of the vehicle while the power wires are run on the right side. We don't want to pick up any engine noise, so you don't want to run these two together throughout the vehicle. So, run these on opposite sides of the vehicle and you're going to be good. Okay, at the crossover. Over here, we have our input. So this input is going to the inputs over here. Here's our front, so that would be the crossovers. The inputs for the rears, we've run brand new wiring over to the rear speakers directly. 
and over here is our subwoofer output. So this wire that goes over here. This goes to our JL Audio Dub 3 8 inch. This wire over here, this is our tweeter wire. That's run all the way up front to the new tweeters for the millis. And over here, these go directly to the woofers. That was the wire you saw me hook up to the back of the deck, and that runs into the doors for the front speakers. Once you're all done tuning your sound system and everything, you have everything where you want it, the last thing to do is to check for engine noise. So we're just keeping the, uh, the microphone by the speaker and we're going to give the motor a couple revs and make sure that there's no engine noise coming from the speaker. Sounding good.